Okay, front standing relaxed pose. We got Corinne Perrell, Perrell here. Seven weeks out from the IFPA Pro International in Kansas City, Kansas. That looks great. Cody turn to the right. She's a little carved up today. She's not going to lose her size, that's for sure. In fact, I don't think many female bodybuilders can match her size on a pro stage in the IFPA. Cody turn to the right. Patricia Beckman's about the only girl I can see because I think Corinne can beat Kathy Vale. Flex, that, flex those glutes hard. Exhale and take it down. Kathy didn't come in looking her absolute best this year. Uh, but the way Kathy looks now, Corinne would beat her. Quarter turn to the right. And if Kathy Vale is considered second best, then uh, I would have to say Corinne's going to be in the top two as well. Nobody knows about her yet. Nobody knows who Corinne Perrow is yet. Flex those glutes hard. Flex those hamstrings hard. Flex those obliques hard. And quarter turn to the right. But they'll know who she is on September 17th when she places in the top two at the Pro International. Okay, let's see a uh, front double bicep pose. Flexes in her thighs hard. Flexes in her thighs hard. Yeah, she's, uh, Cliff Wilson is her nutritional guru leading her into the show. Yep, keep that right leg a little straighter. The more you bend that knee, the more those lines disappear. You don't want those lines to disappear. Elbows up, flex those biceps hard. Baseball biceps, flare those lats. You're on a pro stage with pro females. You gotta look your biggest at all times. Flexes in her thighs hard. Come on. Okay, relax. See your front lat spread. Good. Flex those thighs hard first, then flex the upper body. Good. Elbows up, shoulders back. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Keep those lights flared, chest up high. Shoulders back, elbows up high. Let's go, hit it. Okay, relax. Pretty good. Quarter turn to the right. Excuse the glare in the upper right hand corner. This is just a home video for you YouTube guys. Keep those triceps tight, keep those obliques tight. Always flex the button hamstrings. That you can never flex those enough. Good. Yeah, she's definitely not gonna lose any size. She was just 138 a few days ago until Cliff bumped her carbs up, and now she's 150 something. But Cliff Wilson knows what he's doing. Okay, let's see your side chest pose. Turn that knee in now. The more you turn that knee in, the more those outer quads come out. Let's go. Okay. Good, good, good. Hold it out. Hold it off about 20 seconds now or so. Good. Turn that knee in. Flex those quads hard. Good stuff. The less space, the better. Try not to shrug that right shoulder. Keep that right shoulder down. And push your right chest over with that right shoulder. Get those fibers to come out. Hold it. Hold it. Flex it hard. Flex it hard. Good. Relax. Okay. Let's see your side tricep shot. Turn that knee in. The less space you can see, the better. Good. Good triceps. Good triceps. Hold it out. You're on a pro stage with pro females. You gotta bring it. You gotta bring it. Good stuff, flex those obliques hard. Don't forget those, you gotta flex everything. Train for this for months, relax. All for eight minutes on stage. Seven weeks out. Okay, see a quarter turn to the right. Good stuff, good stuff. Good hamstrings, you're keeping them tight I can see. Okay, let's see your back double bicep pose. Good. Exhale everything out, bring that Christmas tree out. Elbows up and forward a little bit. Flare those lats, flex that button hamstring hard. Perfect, 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 perfect. Relax. Yeah, she's probably gonna have the best back on stage. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Okay, I see your back lats, bread. Good hams. Legs win shows, and a lot of girls don't even have hamstrings, but Corinne's going to have them. Good, Corinne. Elbows forward, shoulders back at the same time. You got this. Let's go. Good stuff. Keep it tight down at the bottom. Let's go. Okay, and relax. Good stuff. Quarter turn to the right. Flex those obliques hard. Judges are thinking about if they're going to switch around or not. Keep those outer thighs tight at all times. Let's see your side chest. Hit it hard now. Legs first, then the upper body. Hold it out. Good stuff. Chest up high, shoulders back. Close those gaps. Push that left chest over with your right, left shoulder. Good. Good stuff. Hold it out. Keep everything tight. Look as big as possible. Drop those hands just a tad. Show those abs off. Good stuff. And relax. Looking good, looking good. Okay, I'll see your side tricep shot.
Hold it out. Good tries. Good shoulders. Turn that knee in. The more you turn that knee in, the more the outer thigh is going to show up. Flex those obliques hard at the top. Flex those obliques hard. Show off that waistline. You're going to have one of the best abs on the stage. Relax. Corinne is a former gymnast, so she gets a lot of her shape from that background. Okay, see your side tricep shot. Yeah. Right, yeah, this is a great pose on you. Hold that bad boy out. Yeah, that's a good shot on you. Can't see the fibers as much today, but you guys will see them on September 17th. Guarantee it. She's probably going to have the best delts on stage, too. Because I just seen them last week, but uh, she's going to bring it on game day. Relax. What Cliff's doing is probably experimenting with her because now they'll know seven weeks out what her body can handle. Quarter turn to the right. Most people don't even have the opportunity to experiment with their bodies this far out, but Corinne's so lean and ahead of the game, they can do those kinds of things. Okay, let's see your uh, thigh ab pose. Good. Or just sit back on it, lean back on it. That's good, that's good, that's good. Good stuff. Big flex, big flex those thighs. Quads hard, don't let those lines disappear. Come on. Good stuff. Okay, relax. Okay, let's see your hands on it. Most muscular now. Looking good. Yeah, you straighten the legs out more. Yeah, the straighter your legs are, the bigger you look. You look taller. Flex those arms hard. Flex them all up. That's a strength for you. Good. Relax. And let's see your crab most muscular. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. Hold it out. This is for the overall title now. Let's go. This is for the overall. Good stuff. Good legs. Good legs. Hold it out. Hold it out. Give me all you got for five more seconds. And she held a smile the whole time too. That means she's not grimacing or nothing. Okay. Relax. And that's good. Okay, take a take a relaxed uh, moment for yourself, Corinne. So seven weeks out. How do you feel seven weeks out from the show? Do you feel better now than uh, last time you got on stage? Yeah, yeah. The last time I got on stage was October 2010. So it's been a while, but I'm I'm a lot leaner. Like I'm 150 pounds right now. Okay. With seven weeks ago, I stepped on the stage in October at 150 pounds. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a lot leaner this year, which is exciting. Okay, so seven weeks out, you're already leaner than you were seven weeks out last time you got on stage. Yeah, last time I got on stage, this is, I was 150 pounds. Okay. So now I'm 150. Okay, okay. wow. So, <laughs> so you're going to yeah. be down there, you're going to come down even lighter right. and more conditioned with more muscle maturity. Right. right. Okay, well, good stuff. And uh, what kind of diet are you on right now? What's Cliff have you doing exactly? What's your car? Is your carb intake pretty much high every single day? You have high carb days, refeed days? How does that work? No, so right now I'm doing six low carb days and one high carb day. Okay. The low carb days are no starch. So my carbs are at about 50 grams and it's all veggies. So for six days straight, then I have a high carb day where I can have starches, oatmeal, brown rice, sweet potato, whatever. One day a week. How many carbs would that be out, That's equal out to? 150. So you have 50 carbs every single day, then 150. Then 150. No kidding. Interesting. Well, you know, there's all kinds of different diet methods out there, uh, you know, but I know Cliff knows what he's doing because he's got a lot of champions this year so far, and I keep seeing him in the overall pose down circle at the end of these shows. Uh, so I have total faith in what he's going to do with you, and I can't wait to see your debut. So hit the bicep up uh, for the fans one more shot. September 17th, the IFPA Pro International, where Corinne Perro makes her pro debut on a female bodybuilding stage.